Hi guys, VST here, VLSP Stack. This here is the real Doom game. This is no clone, nothing. This is the original, and this there is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I have in my hand my PS5 controller, and yep, in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can play DOS games on your Android phone for free, guys. So, before we start, I just want to give you a tour. By the way, I am of course right now streaming this, you know, from my phone on my TV. And as you can just see guys, yeah, I think it is fun. It is really, really fun. If you want to learn how you can play your favorite DOS games, guys, then yeah, make sure to watch the full video. I am going to let you know what you need, where you can download the games, how you can configure them. And yeah, just let's have some fun together. DOS games are there and there's some really true gems. So here I am. March 2022 guys and I'm playing the old classical Doom game on my Android phone using a DOS emulator and of course using some very new high-tech in brackets my PS5 gamepad which yeah you know connects to my phone using Bluetooth and honestly guys it's been really nothing more nothing less but just amazing First because, yeah, you know, I'm a guy that remembers those games and really play them when they're out. And then second because, yeah, if you're somebody new, why not experience some of the best classics there? Those games, they really had some gems, guys. And in this video today, I'm going to show you guys five of my favorite games. So stay tuned, going to learn how you can... Oops, let me just finish that one. I'm just getting it, uh, okay, and I died, all right? So you see this is real life action. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys what tools you need, where can you go to download games, and I'm gonna show you guys my top DOS games. Let's cut through the chase and show me what you're gonna need. So open your Play Store, guys, and in the search box, type for DOS box. You're gonna get thousands of things. You're looking for Magic Dock Box. Now, there is a free version, which you can use, and you can only add one game. If you want to play cool guys, you can always buy it, it's only like 3 euro. Once you install the Magic Dock Box, that's the first part, so this is kind of the, your emulator, but of course then you're gonna need the game ROMs. And I'm gonna show you guys where I go to download the game ROMs from old DOS games. So what I'm doing guys, I'm using the games Nostalgia, so once you're there, you know, you just search for a game, and actually I've downloaded already a few games I wanna show to you, but let me just type, for example, Dave. This is Dangerous Dave, one of the best games ever made, not only for DOS, right? Make sure that's your game, Click here guys and then scroll down, there's going to be a download link, see all the downloads. Now we have options, you can download this for the PC but also for the Mac. Some games will have Amiga versions, we will have S and yes versions, a lot of things, right? But right now we just care about those games, so click the download for PC and yeah, I'm using a PC to download this. You can still go here and choose your desktop site mode and then you're gonna be able to download it on your phone. But what I'm just doing is guys, I am using my PC, else if you press here download file, you'll still be able to use just your phone to download it. So you're gonna need to click this link and although, yeah, you're not using a PC right now, boom, you are getting a download. Don't forget, of course, to go to desktop site and Switch it off. Once the game is downloaded in your download folder, you can just take it and it's better to unzip it in a specially created folder. Now what I'm doing guys, I'm just going to select it, I'm just going to move it and I've already created a folder called games on my main storage where I do of course have the PS2 games and also those games. So I'm just going to paste it there, right? And then I'm going to use some free tools like the RAR to try to unzip it. So the way it works, I just do like this, then press OK right and it just works really like a pc now i'm going back here to my file explorer i'm using the cx file explorer and boom there i have it dangerous dave now the second step guys is just adding the game to your emulator all right we have a few more steps but we are very close so start the emulator guys i do already have it here but what i'm going to do guys i'm just going to delete this and create this from scratch just so that you can see so how do we add new games click on the plus sign click on a new game Right, you're gonna get a lot of information here. First thing I do, I always type the name of the game here, so it's Dangerous Dave. Then guys, you need to go and choose the folder where it is. So right now, I'll go back and I'll show you. I'm gonna go back to my storage. I'm gonna then go to my games folder, if I'm able to find it here. Then I go inside DOS, and then I go guys to Dangerous Dave. 
right inside I have game folder so I select this then guys you have some options you can use the PC speaker or the sound blaster now dangerous Dave is a game that doesn't really have sound for sound blaster so I'm going to enable my PC speaker right and you can also choose the sound blaster or sound blaster 1 or sound blaster pro and guys you can also go and choose MT32 Roland which I'm gonna share later on the Prince of Persia this is really insane when I was young I never had the money to buy me a Roland MT32 right now if you have just the ROM files because they're copyrighted you can load also and enjoy this crazy sound two more steps here you need to go down to software and choose the main program now the main program in this case is gonna be the Dave exe file it's the executable file and if it's a more complex game if there is a setup you can also choose a setup no setup in this case, just save it. Okay, where is it? Dangerous Dave. Click it, and once you do it, guys, boom, it will start. Once the game starts, you can just rotate your phone and yeah, try to play the game. All right, let's try to see. Yep, everything nice and working. We have sound. So, Dangerous Dave being played on a Samsung S2 into Ultra using a PS5 5 controller, Bluetooth really crazy now guys this is the very easiest option and that's what i wanted to show you now i don't need to map anything specifically because you know just the gameplay with dave is very easy you just uh, practically are using the arrows and then of course you have an action button for the jetpack and to shoot but it will get a bit more complex and this way i wanted to show some of the other games after you know how to download games and where to install it i want to share what i'm doing for doom so i'm going to add doom from scratch for you and just show you guys how i do the mapping so i'm just hitting the plus sign here i go to new game right i will now have to navigate again to my games folder it's there go to dos go to doom go to game because inside it's the game then guys i'm just gonna go scroll down i'm gonna choose the main program which is the doom exe file and i'm just actually going to save it now i cannot save it because i need to place here the name of the game okay so once that's done i click here doom boom now i'll put my doom on and it will start you now with a very nice sound okay but like i told you guys there are here some tweaks you need to know else you're not able to do it if i try to access controls like this they're gonna work but i'm not pretty much able to do anything else hence i want to show you guys how you can map your buttons to some keyboard buttons which is very very important specifically for games like this once you're in a game just do like this one swipe then you're gonna get something called game pad and tilt click inside guys right you're gonna get here the mapper right you need to enable the mapper and then guys what you can do gamepad buttons right now are not assigned so i'll now show you what i do going inside i'm gonna try to add a button see button detected and i'm going to save it but right now this button is not mapped to anything so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click here and then i'm gonna choose a specific key and for example i am going to map this here to the enter because I should be able to go inside menus and select them. Also, let me add another button. So I'm gonna map this button there, all okay? right? And right now you see enter this one, no value. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to key and I'm going here to select the right control that's for a reason okay all right guys i have now mapped two buttons i'm gonna hit the mapper here and save my settings and it's time to see if i'm gonna be able to start a new game oh all right yep so starting right away right i can now navigate and yep absolutely i can shoot right so let me just try to go for some action and by the way guys this is very important i'm just right now showing you a very basic setup but you can understand how you're able to map everything you're even able to map your analog sticks if you want to get this type of controls now i'm just playing a bit more like the old school way pretty much all the options are there let me just show you one more time if you want to change something while you're playing go here right and joystick gamepad buttons the d-pad you can map the left keyboard the gamepad buttons are here the d-pad buttons the left joystick the right joystick don't forget to always select enabled and gen safe and as simple as that when you're done playing guys just boom press quit power off and that's there you're just gonna get back to your desktop let's continue the next thing i want to show you guys is goblin street probably one of the best quest games ever made or at least that's what i thought when i was a kid now this is a bit different guys and i'm just gonna show you why why did i decide to share the goblins 3 because right this is one of my favorite games when i was a kid but also you guys just see how i'm able to navigate i'm using here my finger as a mouse right so i can just go and select the golf club right and then i will be able to engage with some action and this is indeed you know the way you do things 
things with games like this. Also, if I'm able to go up, I'm able to access and try to even load or save myself. So pretty much like playing a normal game. And guys, check out Goblin Tree. It's really one of the best quests made. And I'm just not joking. It's really one of my favorite games when I was a kid. I want to show you guys one more example. And that's the Prince of Persia 2 Shadow in the Flame, which is probably like the best game ever made for me, created by Jordan Mechner and released by the Brotherman Software. I want to show you guys now something very important. Holding here will give me the option to edit, right? And I have selected here the Sound Blaster Pro 2. When you select here in the MIDI, you can choose like the standard MIDI stuff, but you can also click here on the MT. And provided you have the Ronald MT32 ROM files, guys, yeah, you can just load it up, right? Prince Exe, okay, boom, then start a game and just, just, just listen to this. I'm just going to up the sound a bit. This is really music to my ears. It's a Brother Band software. Jordan Mechner, all right? Now, sometimes there's gonna be these slow hiccups. Human speech, guys. Incredible, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna press escape. And all the action will start. I don't need this keyboard anymore. All right, now we need to map some keys to play the game correctly. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'm again gonna go here in the gamepad. I am going to click enabled. I'm gonna go to unassigned. I'm going to just add a button, okay? So this button is gonna be, let's say, the left control. So left control. I'm then going to save this. I'm gonna also map another button. And this time, let's say we're gonna go for this and I'm gonna use also the left shift. So key, right, and let's now go and choose the left shift. Oh, by the way, you've seen the options, guys. You can map mouse clicks, you can map keyboards, you can do a tons of stuff. Definitely, we are now back in the game and I'm able to play Prince of Persia, Shadow and the Flame on my 22 Ultra Galaxy phone. This is really incredible and now I'm gonna die. So let me just do another attempt. By the way, right now I didn't really map everything, but guys, if you go inside, there are original guides for these games. You should be able to see all type of controls you need so that you're able to map them. And then guys, you can really play those games as if you're back in the 90s, which is really crazy. And the best part, like I showed in the beginning, you can stream this on your TV and the experience is just gonna be nothing more, nothing less but than just mind blowing. And to prove this point, guys, what I'm gonna do up, I'm gonna show you the Prince of Persia 2 on my TV and wrap up the video. Some of you asked me in the previous PS2 video what I'm using for screen mirroring. Well, that's this free software, guys. I'm gonna put a link down below. This tool is free. Of course, you need to watch some ads, but you can also buy it. Now, just hit connect here, guys, and I'm gonna show you right now the Prince of Persia 2 on my big screen. And I can tell you, guys, this is nothing more, nothing less, but then just perfect. All right, guys, you can just see my phone is loaded there, right? Everything wirelessly, so I'm just streaming. I'm just trying to survive. And yeah, I'm very bad at this, but with practice, I will get better. If you need to parry, just press the upper arrow. And after, hopefully, I'm able to deal with this enemy, I'm gonna also show you, you know, how I'm running and also how I'm jumping because, you know, it's not not so crazy. Okay, yeah, I was unable. But I think you get the point, guys. It's 2022 and you can play all these nice DOS games on your Android phone just in a matter of minutes. I really hope that you like this video. If that's the case, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in the next episode. PST over and bye.